We'll give that a minute to start up. In the meantime, uh, I'm going to show you what I am going to have set up here for the power supply. Because uh, currently, I just have hooked up to a battery that I then have to recharge every now and again. So to fix that problem, I picked up this guy. Um, I think this was like 17 or 18 bucks on Amazon. <clears throat> And it is a 12 volt, 20 amp power supply. Uh, this was listed, I mean, they call it an LED power supply because you could power LED lights with it. But it was also listed as being something that was a uh, power supply for 3D printers. All right, so that's what that is. Yeah, 12 volt, 20 amps. All right, so when you uh, when you buy these power supplies, uh, this is all you get. And you might be wondering how you plug this into the wall. Well, you, they don't include a power cord, so I have this cord which I saved from some old, uh, it's either some old power tool that died or something else. <clears throat> I don't remember what, but it'll work fine for this. So the way these are hooked up is you've got so L, I'm assuming that's going to mean live, your neutral, and then ground. So for at least US wiring, black is live, white is neutral, green is ground. So we'll hook each of these up to, the, uh, to these three screws here. And then you have multiple outputs. We're only going to need two. But... <clears throat> You've got your COM, which should be ground, or commons. So that's these three here, and then your 12 volt power on these ones. And then there is this little adjustment here that you can use to increase or decrease the voltage. So I'm gonna try and get that at, you know, a little over 12 volts. I'll hook the voltmeter up to it and uh, dial that in until you get uh, the power hooked up to that. So we've got black, black on line in. Okay, so now that all that is hooked up, go ahead and uh, plug this guy in. Be, uh, be careful not to touch any of those live wires there. All it really has for um, safety is this little plastic cover that you drop down over these connections. Um, but I need to leave this open so I can check the 12 volt side first. So I'll plug this guy in for now. All right, we got power. So 11.7 volts, and it's just that here. So I can take it all the way up to 13 and above. So let's, uh, since this, the uh, heater is designed for a vehicle, that would be about your standard voltage coming out of a charging system, 13 and a half volts. So we'll go ahead and run with that. And then now, let's, uh, yeah, now we'll go ahead and hook this guy up to the heater. Okay, so to hook the heater up to the power supply, first uh, make sure it's unplugged. Now we're gonna loosen one of the comm or ground bolts and one of the ones for 12 volt power, or in this case, 13 and a half volts of power. And it's just like hooking the power cord up to it. Yeah, we can 
latch the little cover. So according to that there, we've got 13 volts. Should be more than enough. Not the prettiest setup, but at least I no longer have to have the battery hooked up. And I can now have it just plugged right into the wall outlet there. So let's see if it'll go ahead and ignite. All right, so it's uh, yeah, it's up and running. Seems to be working just fine to get powered off of the uh, little power supply here. As you can see, no more battery. It's hooked up to that. Plug the wall socket. So uh, yeah, this guy worked out great.